how um, Aristarchus measured the distance uh, of the sun in the second century BC. Now, Aristarchus was a very fine si uh, scientist, and he had a very simple idea. If uh, during the, when the moon has, is on the quarter phase, this means that the sun, which is far, far, far away in this direction, illuminates half of the hemisphere of the moon, this hemisphere of the moon, and the other half is dark. We from Earth, from down here, see half of it illuminated, and the other half is dark. This means that this angle should be a right angle. It's simple. Now, if the sun is at a very far, far, far away distance, very, very far away, then, the, uh, then this angle should also be 90 degrees. Just imagine taking this thing and putting all the way up down to Sydney. Uh, then these lines become parallel. So this uh, line, uh, if you could measure it, the, then on this line depends the distance of the sun. It was a very difficult measurement because he had to do it while the phase of the moon goes on the first quarter, and the sun is just about is just about setting. So he had probably something to measure angles, maybe two dioptras, and he was measuring this angle between the sun and the moon. This is this is this is this angle between the sun and the moon, and he found that this angle was 87 degrees. Um, so if this angle is 87 degrees, it's very simple. All the maths were there to calculate that the distance of the sun, the distance, and so this distance from the sun to the Earth, is 19 times the distance from the moon to the Earth. So simple. Um, I mean, this is this. Really, you can imagine that if the sun was very close at the distance of, this, of the moon, then it will be coming closer and closer and closer and closer, and this angle will be zero. This, this angle would be zero. On the other hand, as I said, if the sun is at the infinite distance, this angle should be 90 degrees. So the distance of the sun depends on this angle. Uh, of course, we know, and if this is so, then the distance of the sun is 19 times the distance to the, to the moon. Of course, we know now that the true distance is that this angle is 89.86 degrees, close to 90, but not exactly. And this distance is 400 times the distance of the moon. OK. However, that was the first time that somebody calculated that the sun must be much, much further away than the moon. I mean, just think about it. It's, not, it's, it's a really new knowledge. 